Welcome everyone to a new Pritz trainer. You might be wondering why is the current world number 18 a super grandmaster with a rating of 2731 the one and only Vidit Gujarati in a blindfold. Well, I have been held at gunpoint and forced <laughs> to do this uh, because I can't pay the ransom which is required. So, yeah. <laughs> well, Vidit, the only way this blindfold is coming off from your eyes is if you solve the position that is in front of you. You can't see it. So I'll call out the pieces. So we are starting with blackmail. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Great start. So are you ready? Because if you are not able to solve this, okay. you will do the entire Fritz trainer with a blindfold. Okay, so let's get this right. <laughs> so you, white king a3, mm -hmm. queen g2, Okay. rook e4, Okay. Rook B4, Bombay 4. Okay. Knight D8. Yeah. So there are only five pieces for white. Yeah. Black, King G8, Queen F8, Rook E1, Rook H1, Pawn on C3, Pawn on F6, Pawn on G7, and Pawn on H7. If you would like to repeat. King A3, Queen G2, Rook B4, Rook E4, Knight D8. Black King G8, Queen F8, Rook E1, Rook H1, Pawn C3, F6, G7, H7. Yes, white to play. This is a study by Alexander Stavry Stavryetsky and it was composed in 1999 and Vidit has no idea about this position. He's going to try and solve it blindfold. This is the first video of our Fritz trainer. Let's see how he does it. Vidit, you can sort of speak out your thought process. Yeah. So, first I was thinking of Queen G7, but that's stupid because just King G7 or even Queen G7 both are fine. Uh, there's no further continuation. Uh, then I thought of Rook E1 and this caught my attention. Uh, Rook E1, Rook E1, Queen D5 check. That's what I'm thinking right now. King H8 and your Knight F7, King G8 and... Here I sense that there could be something uh, because of some familiar looking uh, patterns. So knight f7, king g8. I'm thinking now of knight e5, king h8. But knight g6, hg6 and my rook is unfortunately ah, pinned. Beautiful. So I can't go rook h4. Well. Some of you who might be even seeing it might not have noticed that this is a pin, but Vidit, who is blindfolded, has seen that the rook is pinned, so you can't move it. You can, by the way, pause this video and think for yourself as well, and then start and see how you thought along with Vidit. Okay, Vidit, so do you want to go back to the first position? Yeah. I mean, for me, it's all the same. Because <laughs> I mean, what are you thinking about that line or are you thinking some other candidate moves? What's going on? I have to act quickly. Um, I cannot make slow moves. I, am, I was thinking of Rook E8 kind of moves, but um, it does not seem... Right. Yeah. Rookie one feels correct to me. I'm on the right path with rookie one. Any other moves apart from rookie one that have crossed your mind or only? 96 crossed my mind. Okay. But then there were so many checks. Um, Queen A8, Rook A1. Yeah. It does not make sense. Rook E8 crossed my mind, but again, there are too many checks. Mm -hmm. And Rook takes E8 or Rook A1, Rook B1, and somehow it did not make sense to me. And what else? My role here is to kind of get with it confused up in general. Uh, so. Could be that rookie one is the answer, but could be that there are other possibilities as well in the first pose. First, pose. oh, 
wait i did not notice but there is queen a to check queen a to check okay i completely overlooked this check happens when you are not seeing <laughs> <laughs> so king h8 okay now knight f7 mm -hmm. king g8 mm -hmm. something here feels like there should be something here i have some king g8 this pin on the rook on b4 is very annoying hmm i can play knight d6 okay king h8 so that my pin is gone but does it really solve something and so after knight d6 king h8 do you think there is something here not sure what is coming to your mind so there are too many checks discovered checks possible hmm so knight d6 king h8 i can go rook b8 queen b8 mm -hmm. knight f7 mm -hmm. back king g8 mm -hmm. but now what next queen a2 king h8 knight of seven king g8 knight e5 does not work king h8 knight g6 g6 again rook h4 rook h4 so that thing is not working so knight d6 makes sense king h8 um now what to do i can go rook e8 but rook e8 is okay Met with rook takes e eight. Hmm, I'm stuck. Rook b eight. So you went rook b eight instead of rook e eight. Yeah, yeah, queen b eight. Queen b eight. You were on the right track. Knight f seven, king g eight, and then you stopped here somehow. You wanted. Ah okay now i see it. knight d8 check king h8 and now rook e8 this is the move <laughs> i was missing wow it's amazing rook why, takes why, e8 why is this move needed because the queen was controlling the g8 square okay and i was uh, unable to give a smothered mate so, so whenever i wanted to give queen g8 check let's so, say if i do it without knight d8 knight h6 king h8 queen g8 then queen takes g8 and now knight f7 is queen f7 okay so i needed this I needed this interference of the rook in between, and for that, first I had to deflect the queen, put the knight in uh, on d8 so that I cut it off, then give rook e8 check, rook e8, knight f7, king g8, knight f6, queen g8, knight f7. Check, check. Well, because you solved this correctly with it, we time to off. get off your <laughs> blindfold. Oh <my> God. <laughs> <laughs> and we have this beautiful mate beautiful, on the board beautiful with it did you like this one yeah yeah it's a very nice uh, study you you sense that there is something with this uh, pattern but uh, it was not obvious i would say uh, that i i was not able to find the right order of giving the pieces right but it's but amazing you, that you have queen two rooks you give everything and it's mate with the knight it's mate with the knight and this is the idea of this fritz trainer we are going to make with it really suffer here 
he's going to calculate he's going to use all his imagination but it's also structured in a very nice way so that the people can learn from it for example here was a smothered mate idea yeah. and uh, but not just a plain smothered mate you had to create this out of nowhere out of thin air so uh, i the point is that while i am calculating sharing my thought process you pick pick up some nuggets uh, from it which might be unique or you might not know uh and you might also enjoy seeing me struggle so that's another advantage and at the end of every video we'll try to tell you uh how to improve uh the calculation or how you can do better in this while i am undergoing going the process myself right and vidit has no idea about the positions we have selected as you saw he was struggling vidit why did you decide to do it this way you know you could have prepared everything you could have come here and taught it but why did you say okay i want it to be tested i think this is more interesting um it's also uh, not prepared so it makes it more um, fun to do it for me and the second reason is uh, whenever if i think like i would lo- love to learn from people who are stronger than me so i would love to know how they think and how is their thought process so this was the point that people who want to become stronger or they want to improve from where they are one of the ways is to learn the thought process from a player who is stronger than mm-hmm. you so this was the entire point so i guess only 17 players in the world might not find this very useful <laughs> because you are world number 18 2730 we have the super gm vidit gujarati here onwards to the next video